Rajan Ranchuji, head of the Africa practice at Hogan Double South Africa. I thought the discussions that we had today were really robust. Um, it is key for implementation to come out of this and action to come out of what we had discussed. Clearly one of the issues that was raised is with regards to economic growth. Economic growth is going to be the future of our continent, of our country. And whilst we have seen a number of challenges in economic growth, we have seen certainly some successes coming through. PPPs, public-private partnerships, are going to be critical in addressing this and the private sector's role in that is going to be implementation. What we need to and have to expect from the public sector is to create the framework, the regulatory regime, uh, legislation in order to allow and entice private sector to believe in the future of the country, of the continent. Hi, I'm Stacey Davidson, uh, Director for Redisa. Redisa is the Recycling and Economic Development Initiative of South Africa. What I took away from today, I, th I think this is a brilliant initiative. I think it's time that, that private sector start engaging and not engaging on what the challenges and the problems are that we're facing, but rather to look at the solutions because I believe there's lots of innovation that is happening in the private sector, but that's not being communicated necessarily to the general public, to um, government, and we, I think we're missing out or losing out on a lot of opportunity that could be harnessed now, and it's just very interesting to also hear how the media feel about things and not just industry so that we can actually start driving some good stories and driving some positive thoughts and start stimulating a solution-driven way to think in the country instead of let's just moan and groan. My name is Julian Mixon. I'm a member of the Shanduka M&A team and uh, my, my key take from today is really um, the need for collaboration between government and business. I think that um, it's important to bridge the gap. Um, something that I would like to see in the future is definitely more of these type of discussions. I think it brings out a lot of key discussion areas that are sometimes left in the boardrooms and not taken forward. And what's important really is to put these ideas into action and to, to implement and we've got many fantastic plans but I think uh, what will really put the, the cherry on top is to put these plans into action. Yeah, it's, uh, my name is uh, Richard Gamera from uh, DuPont uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. So I think obviously today, uh, you know, the concept around the brain trust is, uh, you know, what we would really like to see is, uh, you know, more collaboration, you know, within Africa, you know, to improve, uh, you know, which will obviously assist us in uh, growing the economy. And then, uh, you know, and, and also innovate. So this is not a concept to, you know, to be complaining and, you know, and, and finding things that are wrong. So we would like to look at the issues in Africa and find solution into it. So I think if we can get more people, you know, innovating and collaborating to solve, you know, the, the problems we have in Africa, I think we will then see the major growth in Africa.